Next up from Cauldron Films comes Contraband, directed by Lucio Fulci, 1980. Uh, this movie is all about smugglers, gangster warfare and brutal, brutal violence. <laughs> Fabio Testi plays Luca, um, a, a man who deals with smuggling cigarettes into Naples. And when someone starts to take out members of his crew, his brother, and starts to tear them down, he decides that he wants revenge, and he will get it at all costs. And it will cost him quite a bit in this movie. At the start of this one we meet a lot of our players, we have a little bit of mystery about who the bad guy is going to be and we see their operation as things start to go wrong. As they realise that somebody um, is playing against them in their bid to make some money and a living for a kind of gangster lifestyle that they have. Cops knew the date, time and place. Somebody squealed on us, Luca. Somebody who wants to take over the whole operation. And the movie for the first part, the first half hour, feels kind of pedestrian. It feels like a Eurocrime movie that uh, is ticking off all the boxes. It isn't until that half hour into it, when our character is out for bloody revenge, where things take an unexpectedly gory and really difficult path for our main character. This is a movie that pulls no punches. It is vicious. It is brutal. And it really does... Um, just kick off out of nowhere and I, and I really kind of appreciated that as I was beginning to be lulled into the familiarity of the Plesiotechi or the Eurocrime kind of movies all of a sudden <laughs> something terrifying, brutal and unexpected happened and I was snapped to life as I watched uh, this movie begin to blossom in front of my eyes. Uh, now Fabio Testi is wonderful as Luca, a character who is just driven by revenge, who wants to, to get figure out who killed his brother, why, and get revenge on that. But he goes down a path that is going to lead his family into danger, that is going to see more death, that is going to see him given some real hard times, uh, whether he will win out or not as we start to see the sort of true test of what Luca is up against it becomes daunting a little bit worried for the character he's outnumbered he's outgunned he's outthought at, at almost every turn yet somehow the sheer tenacity of this character the thing that keeps him driving forward is also the thing that makes him so endearing to watch one that you want to succeed now that comes in part with the bad guy. You tell me where and with who we can meet, and I'll give you back your wife. Is it? No, Luca, no! They only want to kill you! It's a trap, Luca! When we are revealed who the bad guy is, what's his machinations and what he's up to, you just hate him. He's a horrible character, one that it's easy to despise. I and mean, when you've got a character looking for revenge against someone that's so horrible, you start to go into Lucas' path, wanting that uh, revenge that he's aiming for. There are some really hard scenes in this. There are some really memorable moments in this movie as well. Most particularly, uh, we have one at the racetrack with a character that is utterly brutal, shocking, um, and I don't think I'll ever forget it. Wonderful effects, really well done. It's a standout sequence. There's a moment later on where the bad guy is taunting and uh, teasing Luca, and he has his wife, and they are brutalising her, and he gets to listen over the phone, and it is horrible, it is vicious, it is unnecessary and just gives you another reason as to why this bad guy is so awful. The finale of this one, of a movie that is gory, terrible, horrifying in all kinds of way, was rather rousing as we see uh, Luca and his new crew kind of get the revenge that they're after. In a way. <laughs> 
and it's just wonderfully played up. It's a, a great set piece, wonderfully staged and executed with some fantastic uh, action moments that I really enjoyed. Contraband was an absolute treat of a movie. Kind of lulled me into thinking I was getting an average kind of Eurocrime movie for that first half hour before exploding uh, with blood, guts, gore, violence and revenge. I would highly recommend Contraband. I thought it was particularly awesome. It's one that I would go back to again and check out. I, I think it's uh, up there with, with Filch's work. Terrific. Uh, really glad to have picked up this Cauldron disc, which looks amazing. I can't wait to delve into the commentaries next, which I am absolutely 100% going to do. I would love to know your thoughts on Contraband if you've seen it. What do you think of that racetrack sequence with that poor guy? Oh, man, let me know in the comment box whether you liked it, loved it, hated it. Just were kind of meh about it. I want to know and have a conversation about this film. There's more content up here. You can see more of my stuff if you're interested. And of course, hit that like button because it really helps my channel. And in the description box below, there is a link to the Patreon, the membership channel where you can help support my channel or... You can go and buy some cool Man V Film merch. Links down there as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Man V Film.